Dispenser going up. Well, I guess that'll do. Hey guys, Uncle Dane here, and if it wasn't already completely obvious, today's video we'll be talking about a specific weapon, the Sun on a Stick. Uh, Sun on a Stick, it's, uh, it's a battle weapon, don't use it, it's uh, one of the worst guns, can't even, can't even shoot, it's real bad. The Widowmaker is one of the few weapons in the game that seems like it would be used the most because, on paper, it looks like it would be a straight upgrade to the stock shotgun, right? I mean, as long as you can hit all your shots, you can never run out of ammo and never have to reload, right? Well, it's actually a pretty broad generalization of the weapon, and I'm making this video to show you guys where the Widowmaker really shines and where it actually starts to show its weaknesses. So, let's review the Widowmaker's stats. Well, uh, actually, it doesn't really have stats. Rather, it has a very unique mechanic. On hit, the damage you deal is returned to you as ammo. Uh, you never have to reload it, and it uses your metal reserve instead of having its own separate ammo stash. And every time you shoot the Widowmaker, it will use 30 metal. Other than that, this gun is statistically identical to the stock shotgun in every way. It does the same amount of damage, and it has the same bullet spread. It even will take six shots before you have to stop given you miss every single one. Honestly, the Widowmaker is one of my favorite weapons in the game because it is very creatively designed and balanced in a way that rewards you for using it well. And that's where the Widowmaker's strengths come into play. This gun benefits those who are good at aiming a shotgun. If you can consistently land your shots, there's a wide open potential for pulling off a streak in which you could never have to stop firing this gun just as long as you are constantly hitting enemies. But even then, there is still a catch. Hit scan weapons like the Widowmaker suffer from a common weapon mechanic in TF2, Damage Falloff. What Damage Falloff does is it limits the amount of damage you can do to someone the further away they are. This means that with all of the engineer shotguns that shoot bullets, not just the Widowmaker, you do a pretty pitiful amount of damage at long range. That means that the Widowmaker actually starts to show its weaknesses once your enemies get further and further away. After a certain point, the return metal to spent metal trade-off starts to go into the negative, and you will eventually run out of metal and will not be able to fire the gun. So basically, the Widowmaker is a straight upgrade only if you are able to land your shots, and only if you are close enough to do more than 30 damage per hit. So already, the Widowmaker is beginning to look like it's a little situational, which it is. Keeping in mind that the engineer's main ability is to use his metal to place and upgrade buildings, the Widowmaker actually will quite often force you to choose between what you want to do with your metal. Do you use 125 metal to build a teleporter and rely on your ability to get metal back with your Widowmaker? Or will you just say, screw my team, they can walk, and just W plus M1 into battle? Either choice is completely dependent on the current game state and situation, but it's worth noting that you could easily do both of those things with the stock shotgun and still be able to have the freedom to miss a few shots without being immediately punished for it. Playing with the Widowmaker will force you to play by its rules, and it will be harsh in reminding you what they are. You use this gun to put metal into enemies, not buildings. If you are placing your buildings like a good little engineer, you will have to be aware of where to get more metal, because if you spend all your supply on placing a dispenser in Mini Sentry, you're literally going to be without a primary weapon until you find more metal. This can get you into some pretty awkward predicaments where you can't shoot the pyro that seemingly appeared out of nothingness behind you, and that's why I suggest using the Widowmaker with the pistol 100% of the time. Yes, 
You should always be using the pistol with the Widowmaker, because if you're using the Wrangler, which doesn't do any damage without a nearby sentry, or the Short Circuit, which also uses up your metal, when your metal supply is at zero, the only thing you can do is use your melee weapon, or more likely, die. The pistol will provide you with a backup damage dealer for those times when you have less than 30 metal and cannot use your primary, and this will happen. You will be spending metal on things other than shooting your gun, and you will get caught out with no primary weapon every once in a while. And unless you are some kind of god with a shotgun, you will occasionally choke and miss the only shot you had to keep firing the weapon. So if you have something besides the pistol equipped, you're going to get boned. So recapping what the Widowmaker is good for, this weapon is great at close range in the hands of an engineer capable of landing shotgun shells on his enemies in a consistent manner. But as a trade-off, it will force the user to consistently make sure they have enough metal to reliably defend themselves and can often create situations where they have to choose between placing a building and firing the weapon. However, if you are good at shooting a shotgun and you are in a game where close encounters with the enemy happen more often than not, the Widowmaker is a fantastic primary to use for playing as a dedicated battle engineer. Equipping the Widowmaker, pistol, and gunslinger, placing a mini sentry, picking up a medium ammo pack, and running headfirst into the front lines with an overheal is a scary thing to behold from the other end of the gun, especially if you can keep putting out an average of 100 damage per second. The Widowmaker Maker is perfect for doing constant, unending damage to an unaware enemy team, so getting on the flank is the preferred way to abuse the Widowmaker's endless stream of bullets. You can even take down a fully overhealed heavy while he's being healed if you catch him unaware and are able to juke him out when he starts firing at you simply because of how much damage you'll put out without ever having to stop firing. Overall, the Widowmaker is not a direct upgrade by any means. Like most of the unlockable weapons in TF2, it is a situational weapon and only benefits a certain playstyle. And in the case of the Widowmaker, it benefits aggressive, flanking engineers who are focused more on frags and less on support, which can be really fun. Just please do me and your team a favor, and don't forget your class's main purpose. Remember to build a few supportive buildings before diving headfirst into the enemy and going on a sick-ass killing spree. So yeah, thanks so very much for watching. I hope this video was of some use to you. And if you have any suggestions for what engineer weapon you'd like me to talk about in a future video, feel free to leave a comment below. I will probably put priority on making a highly requested weapon overview video that you guys suggest. So, I'm Uncle Dane the NG Main, and I will talk to you nieces and nephews next time. Bye-bye.